sure all of you know by now that Diane Feinstein has passed away at the age of 90. And it's sad. It's unfortunate. It's more unfortunate, I think, that she chose to spend her entire career in the Senate, especially her elder years, and didn't retire and just enjoy her life. As of late, we had seen her being wheeled into the chamber to vote, being told by her aides what to say or what to vote on. And again, that's unfortunate. But that's not what this is about. This is about Gavin Newsom and his duty now to appoint someone to that seat that has one year remaining. And in the past, Gavin Newsom has said that he would appoint a black woman to that seat. He's just like Joe Biden. He wants a cabinet full of minorities or LGBTQs or whatever, because for some reason they think that's important. And I could care less if Newsom appoints somebody who's half green and half blue. It doesn't matter to me. But the names being floated are none other than Oprah Winfrey and Meghan Markle. Yes, Meghan Markle the C-list actress who thought she would marry into the royal family and become this unbelievable big superstar sensation because we know how much people love the royals. And that didn't pan out. So now, potentially, she could be appointed to the United States Senate. And what would her qualifications be? I have no idea. Oprah Winfrey, we all know, is a billionaire, a philanthropist, and quite frankly, I believe Oprah Winfrey is one of the most shady characters on our planet today. I don't trust Oprah Winfrey as far as I could throw her, and quite frankly, if she were to be appointed to that Senate seat, I think we would all be in a lot of trouble because she's as liberal as they come. She's as woke as they come. And that's one thing this country does not need. So again, as we can see, Oprah and Megan have reportedly been among those being considered to replace Dianne Feinstein. Winfrey's name is among those being floated for the role, according to Newsmax and the Desert Sun. It was announced Friday after Feinstein died that the governor would need to appoint someone to replace her. Now, we all know Gavin Newsom has his eyes set on the White House, even though he will say he's not going to run. Quite frankly, I do not believe that, and I never will. I truly believe that Joe Biden is going to step aside sooner rather than later, and Gavin Newsom is going to throw his name in the ring to run for the presidency. Gavin Newsom can also appoint himself to the congressional Senate seat. If you remember back in the day, Chris Christie, when he was the governor of New Jersey, and a New Jersey senator died, he thought about appointing himself to that seat, and for whatever reason he chose not to, I think we're all lucky that he didn't. But these two women right here, because they're both African American, they're both wealthy, Oprah being the more wealthy of the two, but are these the two people that we, the American people, want in the United States Senate? Are these women going to do what's right for the American people if they were one or the other to be selected by Gavin Newsom to finish out that term? My guess is no. My guess is they would continue the woke narrative of the Democratic left. They would continue to try to give, 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 and take, take, take. Giving meaning... They're going to give everything for free. Don't work. Don't do this. The government's going to take care of you. And taking, taking away the rights of the American people, like we know the Democrats have tried to do the First Amendment, the Second Amendment. We can't speak. We can't voice our opinion. And oh no, we cannot own firearms. God forbid, because we all know the firearms go out on their own and commit 
mass shootings. That's absolutely laughable, but that's how the left thinks. Meghan Markle, <clears throat> I don't know what her background is other than she's a C-list actress, and she was going nowhere in her career, and she chose to latch on to Prince Harry. What he was thinking, I have no idea. But what she did was throw a, spo a stick in the spokes of the royal family, because if you read about these royals, we know that the royal family is not fond of Meghan Markle for whatever reason. I could care less who Harry married. I could care less. Meghan Markle means nothing to me. She's done nothing for me. I've never even seen a movie that she was in. And I don't believe she's a good candidate to replace Feinstein. Now, Oprah Winfrey can basically buy the entire United States Senate. Her money gets her whatever she wants. We all know about the fires in Maui. We all know about the thousand plus acres that Oprah acquired right before the fires. We know that her and Dwayne Johnson started the People's Fund of Maui, wanting us, the American people struggling, to donate money to help those folks when Oprah can rebuild that entire community herself. Is she a good candidate for the U.S. Senate? My opinion is absolutely not. She's too liberal, she's too woke, and she will do what every other woke Democrat wants to do, take away the rights of the American people, or try to, and give, 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 and take, take, take. This man right here, Gavin Newsom, is by far the leading candidate for the most woke Democrat in the entire United States. If there was an award show, Gavin Newsom would certainly win that award. He destroyed California. We all know California is a homeless, the entire state is like a homeless encampment, drug addiction, mental illness all over the streets, and Gavin Newsom blocks his eyes, doesn't see it, doesn't talk about it. And this is California. Now imagine for a moment if he was the president of the United States, our entire country would look like California and the Democrats would not care. So him as president, absolutely not. It's my opinion that he shouldn't be a politician because he cares about nothing but himself and some radical liberal policies that do not help the American people in any way, shape or form. And that's all I wanted to say about this. I saw this and I was amazed that these two women were even mentioned to become a United States Senator. If he does choose to appoint one of them, that is nothing more than appointing a woman of color to gain votes from people of color. It's nothing more than to continued push of the liberal woke agenda that we see every day in Washington, D.C. And neither one of these women will do anything good in the United States Senate for the American people, all of the American people. They will do good for a certain group, the marginalized groups, the minorities, the alphabet people, and you name it, they'll make sure they help them and the rest of us will continue to struggle the way we are right now. So read up on it, look into it. If you disagree with me, I respectfully disagree with you because they are not the ones for this job. And that's it. It remains to be seen, but it's coming soon because there's a short window of time that Newsom has to appoint a replacement for Feinstein. So hold on, buckle up, and let's wait and see who good old Gavi appoints to the United States Senate. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't liked this video, hit that like button, subscribe to this channel, hit that notification bell. You'll never miss an episode. I hope everybody is healthy and safe, and I'll see you all real soon. Have a great day.